assalamu alaikum students my name is hadija and i am your science teacher we are studying unit number 3 biotechnology today before starting our topic first of all we will discuss about our moral lesson our moral lesson is believe in yourself and you can perform way beyond your expectations it means that you should believe in yourself and you can do anything in this world there is nothing that is impossible now we will move towards our topic that is relationship between dna genes and chromosomes the relationship between dna genes and chromosomes is based on hierarchy what is hierarchy when something is ranked according to status look at this picture in this picture chromosome dna and gene are arranged according to their hierarchy what are chromosomes these are the largest unit among them they are present in the nucleus look at this picture this is a cell and inside the cell this is a nucleus chromosomes are present inside the nucleus and these are the largest unit among them chromosomes are the largest unit among chromosome dna and gene now we will study about the composition of chromosome each chromosome is composed of double helical strands of dna what is the meaning of double helical strand when two strands wind around each other like a twisted ladder those strands are called double helical strands each shorter segment of dna is a gene that is the smallest unit among them you can see in this picture that this is a chromosome and chromosome is made up of double helical strand of dna this is a double helical strand of dna and you can see here that two strands are wind around each other and this strand is just like a ladder and gene are the smallest unit among them students there is an interesting information for you that if a man types 60 terms per minute and keep typing 8 hours a day he would require about 50 consecutive Active years to write down the human genome. From this information, you can understand that how complex human genome is. Now, we will study about bacterium. Bacteria, singular bacterium, are the unicellular prokaryotic microorganisms. What are prokaryotic microorganisms? those organisms which lack membrane bounded nucleus or any other organelle theek hai those organisms are called prokaryotic microorganisms and what is the meaning of unicellular it means that they are made up of only one cell now we will discuss about the composition of bacteria they possess cell wall and non membrane bounded nucleus look at this picture they have proper cell wall but they have non membrane bounded nucleus and what is the habitat of bacteria they are found everywhere on the planet earth now we will discuss about the types of bacteria there are four types of bacteria on the basis of their shape round rod like spiral and comma shape look at this picture these are round bacteria these are rod like and these are spiral shape 
clear there are benefits as well as harmful effects of bacteria what are the benefits of bacteria they are beneficial in making cheese and yogurt and now we'll, we will discuss about the harmful effects bacteria are also disease causing to various other organisms including humans what is bacteriology the study of bacteria is called bacteriology now we will study gene introduction into bacterium in bacteria as they are prokaryotes we have studied that what are prokaryotes those organi organisms which lack membrane bounded organelles theek hai bacteria are also prokaryotes and they have dispersed chromosomal material theek hai which is spread all over the cytoplasm they have an extra chromosomal dna called plasmid genes are present in the plasmids and what are the functions of those genes they make bacteria resistant towards antibiotics what does it means that bacteria are resistant towards antibiotics it means that they have ability to defend themselves from bacteria killer drugs theek hai bacteria are used as genetic tool how they can easily incorporate and process the foreign genetic material inside their cell body what is gmo the foreign genetic material that can be dna or genes are once added into the host bacterium make it a genetically modified organism theek hai and that organism is also called g m o now we will study about transformation what is transformation the foreign genetic the foreign genetics genes is introduced into bacteria through a process called transformation theek hai now we will study the different steps of a transformation one by one first of all we will study the first step in the first step the foreign genetic material is selected which possess the desired gene in donor organisms it is called gene of interest it is carried out through special cutting enzymes called restriction enzymes look at this picture in this picture the first step of transformation is described this is a human cell and dna is carried out from the human cell and gene of interest is cut down with the help of restriction enzymes this is a gene of interest in the second step the isolated gene is unable to divide itself what is the isolated gene that gene of interest theek hai this gene of interest is the isolated gene this gene is unable to divide itself the isolated gene is attached to plasmid of bacteria that act as vector with the help of lipase enzyme the newly formed structure is called recombinant plasmid in this picture uh, the second and first second and third steps are described in the first step you can see that this is human cell and from the human cell dna is carried out and gene of interest is cut down with the help of restriction enzyme in the second step plasmid is carried out from the bacterium this is the plasmid and that gene of interest is attached to the plasmid 
एंड दिस प्लाज्मिट इज कॉल्ड रिकम्बिनेट प्लाज्मिट ठीक है विच प्लाज्मिट द प्लाज्मिट टू विच द जीन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज अटैच दिस प्लाज्मिट इज कॉल्ड रिकम्बिनेट प्लाज्मिट क्लियर इन द थर्ड स्टेप इट इज देन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू द होस्ट बिक्टेरियन सेल ठीक है रिकम्बिनेट प्लाज्मिट इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन टू द होस्ट बिक्टेरियन सेल द रिकम्बिनेट प्लाज्मिट कैन डिवाइड थ्रू बाइनरी फिशन इन साइड बिक्टेरियम सेल ठीक है वट इज बाइनरी फिशन द प्रोसेस इन विच द डी एन ए रेप्लीकेट्स इट सेल्फ एंड द सेल डिवाइड इन टू टू ठीक है लुक एट दिस पिक्चर इन द थर्ड स्टेप द रिकम्बिनेट प्लाज्मिट इज एंटर इन टू द बिक्टेरियम एंड यू कैन सी हेयर द बिक्टेरिया इज डिवाइडेड विद द हेल्प ऑफ बाइनरी फिशन इन टू न्यू सेल्स क्लियर नाउ स्टूडेंट नोट डाउन योर डायरी दैट इज प्रैक्टिस द फिगर थ्री पॉइंट फाइव एंड थ्री पॉइंट एट ऑन योर रफ कॉपीज एंड सेंड देयर पिक्स टू योर टीचर्स नाउ वी विल वॉच अ वीडियो ऑन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डी एन ए जीन्स एंड क्रोमोजोम्स द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन डी एन ए क्रोमोजोम्स जीन्स एंड DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid. Every living organism contains DNA. DNA is made up of four chemicals: adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. The four letters A, T, C, and G can be arranged to make words or instructions. This is known as the genetic code. DNA is stored in the cell nucleus. In order to fit all the information into the nucleus, it is packaged into chromosomes. Chromosomes come in pairs of two. A human has 46 chromosomes, 23 from your mom and 23 from your dad. The number of chromosomes varies from each species as well as the composition of them. Genes are specific sections of the DNA that are responsible for a specific thing, such as your hair color. 